One of the first problems people run into when starting out in Elite is the controls. It has quite a steep learning curve and can be rather frustrating. Some conclude that the only way is to invest in expensive HOTAS systems that can cost hundreds of euros, or if you're from Russia, all of your money. And that was a joke about the euro-ruble exchange rate due to recent economic uncertainty, by the way. It was not implying Russians are poor and can't afford anything. There are indeed plenty of wealthy Russian people in London. The point is, if you can't afford a HOTAS or don't want to clutter your desk with it, can you still play this game? Yes, you can. With some simple modifications to the default mouse keyboard settings and some practice, it is possible to achieve fine control over your ship. To prove it, I am here attempting to navigate the tight alleys around this rotating Coriolis starport, with flight assist off using just the mouse and keyboard. Is it harder than my usual fancy dual joystick and pedal system which you may have seen me using on other videos? Yes. I am mostly relying on digital on-off keys so I don't have quite the same level of precision, but with the right settings it is certainly less difficult than I thought it would be. So here is how I've set up the controls. On the keyboard I have set W, A, S and D to lateral and vertical thrusters. I have set Q and E to roll left and right. I have set thumb buttons on my mouse to control forward and reverse thrust. Not throttle, thrust. This means as I hold down the thumb button, I inject maximum forward thrust, and when I release it, it returns to zero. With FA off, that means I can hold my thumb down until I reach the desired speed, then release to maintain it. I have set my mouse to control pitch and yaw rather than pitch and roll. I prefer this for a mouse as in most other uses the movement of a mouse left and right does something similar to yaw, whether it's using the mouse on the Windows desktop or playing an FPS. It is easier for my mind's intuition this way. You may like this too, but you may prefer to have the mouse for pitch and roll and the keyboard to control yaw. Finally, and the most important change from the default settings is to switch to relative mouse control. This makes it so that when you move the mouse it automatically returns to center when you stop moving it. If FA was on this would stop you turning altogether. With FA off this stops your rotation from accelerating. So FA off with relative mouse control is very similar to FA on without relative mouse control. When using these controls, the main thing to get used to is having a very light touch. Most manoeuvres need just taps on the relevant keys. It is better to make a number of light taps to get the speed you want, rather than holding the key down and accidentally accelerating too quickly. Light taps and remembering to counter any forces with an equal and opposite force if you want to stop.